Well, this one is a lot of fun. It's called Wabi Sabi. It's a book that opens that way, but it doesn't. It gets you a bit confused, Mark Reibstein. Great design. It opens out that way. And we've imported this really lovely children's book. It's meant to be children's book, but it really is for collectors as well. It's the first edition of 2008 from the US. You change the book round to 90 degrees to read the story of Wabi Sabi, the cat who lived in Kyoto, Japan. And there he is, and it's all collages and paper woodcuts and Japanese calligraphy down the side. There's a proper little storybook here in English, and then the haiku are all translated at the end. But it's the artworks and collages that are absolutely charming as you follow the cat from traditional Japan to Kyoto City and beyond. And look at this, the froggy water. So we've got monkeys and frogs. It's really charming for children aged, I would say eight, and but really it's for adult collectors, I would say. And art collectors, if you appreciate calligraphy, the history of Wabi Sabi, ancient Chinese ways of understanding and living known as Taoism and Zen Buddhism. And that they are all the Chinese, Japanese haiku translated. So the cat lovers to Wabi Sabi from bibliophilebooks.com priced at just £7, discounted from £10.99.